Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. It is October 8th, 2023. The devotional today is called Christ in Us from Matthew 11, 11. There has not risen one greater than John the Baptist, but he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Mm. What was that? It was a chipmunk. So we are, well, the lake is completely fogged in. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's standard for this time of the year. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so you're in Matthew 11, 1 through 11. 1 through 11. Yep. Hearing cows and coyotes and chipmunks. Okay. And it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his 12 disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitude concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? <laughs> It's like we're at Jurassic Park. I don't know if that's Park. approval or disapproval. <laughs> it's like we're at Jurassic Park. Did you hear that? <laughs> Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. Mm. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written. Behold, I send my messenger, therefore, I'm sorry, before thy face which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. God wants to bring to us a living realization of what the word of God is, what the Lord God means by what he says, and what we may expect if we believe it. I am certain that the Lord wishes to put before us a living fact that will, by our faith, bring into action a principle that is within our own hearts so that Christ can dethrone every power of Satan. Only this truth revealed to our hearts can make us so, can make us so much greater than we ever had any idea we could be. There is only the need of revelation and of stirring ourselves up to understand the mightiness that God has within us. We may prove that he has accomplished in us if we will only be willing to carry through what he has already accomplished in us. For God has not accomplished something in us that should lie dormant, but he has brought within us a power, a revelation, a life that is so great that I believe God wants to reveal the greatness of it. There isn't anything you can imagine that is greater than what man may accomplish through him. But everything on a human basis is very limited compared with what God has for us on a spiritual basis. If man can accomplish much in a short time, what may we accomplish if we will believe the revealed word and take it as truth that God has given us and that he wants to bring out in revelation and force? Notice that John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus. Within his own short history, John the Baptist had the power of God revealed to him, as probably no man in the old dispensation had. He had a wonderful revelation. He had a mighty anointing. See how he moved Israel. See how the power of God rested upon him. See how he had the vision of Jesus and went forth with power and turned the hearts of Israel to him. You too can do great things for God if you are part of his kingdom. Thought for today, 
Oh, the possibilities of man in the hands of God. Mm. Mm. I know that tomorrow is a part two of this kind of thing. So I'm kind of it excited. Is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>